Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you how I made this simple chain link fence in Substance Designer. It's a very simple material just to get you started. Uh, if you don't know the basic interface of Substance, uh, then I suggest just search YouTube for some basic tutorials because I'm not going to go over the interface here. I'm just going to go over how to start making your first basic material. I might have one up on my channel a bit later, but at the minute, just if you don't know the interface, there's plenty of tutorials out on YouTube, so just go and search for one. Anyway, to start off, I started off with a simple shape here, just a shape node. So I dragged my shape node in, and then I used a transform node, transform 2D node. But this shape's a square. And on scale 1, and then on the transform node, I change the width and the height down. So you just type in your parameters here and put apply width and apply height. I also rotated the square as you can see 90 degrees, so we've got this diamond shape. So then I inverted grayscale to make it black. This is what I get a cut out. And then I made another transform 2D node coming out of the other one. I made this one slightly bigger. And then I blended it together so our black cutout goes into the foreground. And our bigger shape goes into the opacity. And I used an add linear dodge on opacity one. This just cuts out the black. So we have now just a board around. So this is our one diamond shape for the chain link. Next I just scaled it appropriately so with a transform 2D node just scaled it out. So we have the edges touching. And then I got another transform 2D node and I I just repeated this so I scaled it down really small as you can see here. And then I use tiling mode, each of tiling. If you don't see this, make sure you go to relative to input on here. And then select tiling. If that doesn't work, just use absolute and select that. So this gets our pattern like this. So from there, I've dragged it out for the different levels, so let's go to the normal map first. I just got a normal node by hitting spacebar and typing in normal, and I used that node, so plugged it in from the transform, so we got our normal map, and then I inverted the normal, so it looked, so we got like a bit of a gradient, so it's sticking out a bit more, and I plugged this into the normal. So next I got my levels and I just I just brought the white way up so now you can see the white is much more refined and sharper. This way we've got much more of a defined edge. Then I used a high quality blur grayscale just to blur the edges of it. Then I put that into a levels node to the opacity. And for the foreground, I just used clouds one. This gets just a bit of variation on the metal. So it's not all the same. It's not shiny and clean. We've got a bit of dirt and a bit of variation on there. And then that simply just plugged into our base colour. Oh yeah, and for the blend, I used copy. Just the default. Then I got my original transform again, the shape pattern, and just put that into all levels. I brought the white up again, but not as much as before, so the lines are a bit thinner here. I just plugged that into the opacity, so this big cut out. And I also dragged the levels node that I did for the base colour. I just dragged that out of the metallic so it's shiny. 
and then that's the base of texture for the chain link fence. Very simple substance, it's just to get you started. If you just started out, I suggest you have a look at the shape node and just see what you make with just the shape node and the transform 2D nodes because you get some good results with that. So yeah, I also recommend just break things down and use basic shapes to start off with. So I could see the chain link fence was a diamond shape. So to get the diamond I just used a square and rotate it at 90 degrees. 45 degrees, sorry. And then that, that gets us our basic shape. And then just tile it along. So yeah, very simple texture. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and just experiment around with Substance Designer and you'll get the hang of it eventually. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, dislike it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.